What's up, King Pookie Nation? This is your boy King Pookie coming out talking about the Bears and the Bengals victory over this Sunday. The score, you know, the Bears, you know, they came from the awful um, loss to Los Angeles Rams last Sunday, and they definitely bounced back this, you know, and um, the score was twenty to seventeen. Now, man. Do you know, it was like, where, where's this defense, you know? Where have they showed up? And, you know, man, it's, it's just like, like the 1985 Bears were over again. So many turnovers, and, you know, uh, we got Clem Mack and Robert Quinn got a sack. You know, who ever thought of that? They had, you know, we haven't seen those guys show up at all. And, you know, Robert Quinn... He had those two sacks, and those two sacks that he got, that was uh, what he got last year. He had only two sacks, so he caught up, you know, from last season, you know. So, um, yeah, then Tashawn Gibson, he got, um, he recovered the ball, because uh, I think it was uh, um, Eddie Jackson. He um, peanut punched um, Joe Burrows or, or some one of the Bengals players, and the... And Tajan Gibson recovered the bomb. And then, you know, we also... And there was a... I don't know this guy. What's going on with the NFL? Why did that give props to Roquan Smith? He's not on the top 100 player, you know. And this guy, you know, he you know he got a pick six. You know, we saw, like, Joe Burrows. He was going to throw it down the field. He, like... And Rob and and Rogan Smith just read it and he just caught the ball, and um, but yeah, so this is what hap you know happened with the game. Um, Dalton had nine completions and eleven attempts and fifty six yards, one touchdowns. He had a beautiful touchdown to A Rob. I don't know what's going on with A-Rub. He's not the same old A-Rub anymore. You know, he dropped a couple of balls um, within Justin Fields because they brought in Justin Fields. And um, so um, Justin Fields had six completions, 13 attempts, and 60 yards and zero touchdowns. And I think he had, a, um, he had an interception and a fumble recovered. So, but yeah. The thing is that Andy Dalton, you know, he was running um to the sideline and he tweaked his leg and um like so we saw him like limping, you know, and um I guess he played a couple of plays and the and Van Dyke decided to pull um to pull him out of the game and you know, so Justin Fields he played the whole game and um but um yeah, the, Montgomery he had twenty carries, sixty-one yards, an average of three point one, and he had no touchdowns. You know, I mean the Bengals they you know they stopped David Montgomery. You know they did you know they did their job last weekend where they stopped Adel I mean Delvin Cook. So I mean they I mean I mean they stopped David Montgomery, and you know. He didn't get any touchdowns, but he didn't run over like he did in the Rams game. But, um, so then, um, you know, Moody, he had, um, it was six receivings, 66 yards, and no touchdowns. A Rob had two receivings, 24 yards, one touchdown, and that was one, the only touchdown that. Andy Dalton had in the game, you know, where he threw the ball and um a and a rub, but you know, um, but man, what the the Bears have to do? They have to clean up those boneheaded plays. You know, they got penalized a couple times. You know, James, you know, Fetty, he got penalized, and, and I mean, I don't understand this with the NFL. You know, they're making all these rule changes, and I'm not, you know, with taunting. No, you're not, I mean, Eddie Jackson, you know not to do that. You know that. You could, we saw you clapping because you 
tackle that guy and you made the play and you would that's why we got unnecessary sports and contact and that's what goes because of taunting you got to fix that you know man but Eddie I mean Eddie Jackson he you know he with that punch he, you know peanut punch um he redeemed himself man but yeah but Eddie Jackson still needs to to um do way better and he's like you, you know, you know better than that to do those boneheaded plays, you know, taunting plays. You know, that's what I don't like about the NFL. They're making all these rule changes, you know, just like in baseball, you know, um, they made all these rule changes and it's ruining the game, you know. And a lot of people are not watching baseball because of these rule changes. And it seems like they bring it into the, to the NFL with a taunting issue which is ridiculous you know so um but uh, yeah so Justin Fields he made some play rookie mistakes but um he did forced fumble um but the good thing is that he did he recovered the ball you know he never left his eyes off the ball you know you know so then he thank God for him that he re recovered the ball because the um, Bengals would have got the ball back, but um, and then um, he also made a dumb other dumb play where he did throw an interception, you know, and um, he threw it directly to the guy that they got to bring, and um, but you know, our defense really stopped their um, the receivers, you know, Jamar Chase, he had a, but um, see. At the very end, of, I think it was like in the fourth quarter, the um, Bengals started coming back after that interception from when you know Justin Fields. They started coming back, and you know, um, so um, Justin, you know, Justin Fields recovered himself, you know, and like so he got us to win, you know. But um, yeah, I don't understand those. Why do Bears fans? Are giving flag to Justin Fields and saying that he's not ready, that we sh that he's gonna be a bust. I'm like, come on, seriously, this is only one game. He's a rookie, and you know, and now you saying that he he's gonna be a bust. I mean, come on, um, it's not end of maybe call him a, a bust, but then the year if he doesn't turn out to be a, a superstar, you know. I mean, and you wanted Justin Fields in the beginning. The fans wanted Justin Fields. And now, you know, he's thrown in there. He has no choice. We don't know what's going on with Andy Dalton. Because, you know, um, um, they, Matt Nagy really didn't say anything in the press conference saying that that if Andy Dalton is going to be the starter against Sunday Night's game. And, um... I don't know if he's just trying to cover that up and that stuff, but um, you know, by Wednesday maybe we'll find out. And you know, I hope to God they get more reps for Justin Fields and practice. You know, it's Justin Fields because you know, A. Rob and Darnell Mooney, they made they missed a couple of those catches that were catchable and. That one ball thrown to A Rob was right in the bread basket and he missed it and he could you know he so But um yeah so like I said I mean that roll um pick six by Roll Class Method was so beautiful man. Man he is he's shown proven it to the NFL that he was should have been on the hundred list, you know. And um they they, they better you know they better Think next time, you know, um, because Rokas Smith, he is the, the the other team has to be worried about him because you know, so yeah, they're gonna be playing next week against the Cleveland Browns, which is gonna be a hard team to play against, and they got probably they got good defense and they got a good offense and and you know and um. Baker Mayfielder, Mayville, and then we gotta, and we gotta watch out for the, um, um, that other guy. I forgot his name. Derek, I don't know his name. I forgot what the. So we gotta look out for him. But yeah, so we gotta clean up our act. I mean the defensive, 
they really they stand up in this game. And last weekend it was the offensive. Now this week was the defense, you know. So it was like, yeah, why cannot both of them click at the same time, you know? We need that. And we didn't, you know, Sean Desai, he really turned around. He got his guy is ready now. And I would like to see that more, you know, um, because, you know, he redeemed himself from that Rams game. But now he has to do that in the Cleveland game because the Cleveland game is going to be uh, even more harder because he's going to be playing away in another uh, against the Cleveland and Browns. So, um, but, um, and then, you know, Mad Nagy is the same old Mad Nagy. Um, man, if... It was the defense that really won us the game, you know. So, um, but yeah, so if you're a pure Bears fan, subscribe to my channel, give me a huge thumbs up, and join the King Pookie Nation Army. This is your boy King Pookie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, peace.